All right, this is the highlights from GreatStockPicks.com Tuesday's chat room session. Um, we had AMT on watch because of that huge gap down yesterday, uh, and you see it had a nice pop today. Went ahead and called this as a long at uh, 47.80 this morning using a method we teach with a 47.60 stop. Now, this one took a while to get going, but 47.80 stop never got hit, and it did make it to 48.76 up in here at the end of the day, so almost a dollar move on a 20 cent stop that didn't get hit. Whoops, MHS, a uh, real nice one. Um, MHS has been beaten senseless here and put in kind of a narrow range yesterday, so we had this one on watch today. Nice little gap up. I'll show you what it looked like when I called it. Right there, um, above that little, let me get my drawing tool here, above that little green candle there. I said if it broke this candle's high on the next one, right there, and our stop will go right below it. So I'll give you the numbers. Uh, 40, no, 52.98 with a stop 15 cents below. And from 52.98, uh, you can see right here, made it all the way to 53.84. Um, so almost a dollar, 86 cent move in our favor on 15 cents risk that never got hit. Again, trigger right there and stop right there. What we try to do is find the low risk stuff. Uh, even if it doesn't work, uh, the stop should be fairly tight. And then later in the afternoon, uh, called Iron Mountain, IRM, had a nice looking daily chart and a nice tight base here. I thought if it got through the high of the day, whoops, let's try that again. If it got to 29.06, it hit 29.05 here, um, I don't know, about an hour into the session this morning. And this tight base is why I liked it, because 29.06, again, I like the daily chart too. This isn't just a random intraday chart. Um, gave a great low risk setup. 2906 breaks the high of the day. Your, your stop goes right below this base, 2899. So that's seven cents risk. And uh, look at that close there. 2906 uh, Iron Mountain made it 2955. So almost a 50 cent move on seven cents risk. And uh, never looked back. So that one uh, made it easy as well. So those are the three highlights from today. And we will follow up tomorrow night with uh, some more highlights. Haven't really done any of the tweeting. Every once in a while I send one out this week. But. Um, Maybe I'll dedicate uh, tomorrow or Thursday to the attempt at uh, sending out live tweets again. So if you're not on our uh, following us on Twitter, uh, you might want to sign up. The link is on the member or on the home page there, um, and we might experiment tomorrow with some more uh, live trade calls, um, which we're going to try to do once a week in lieu of uh, the free picks that we haven't been sending out lately. Uh, daily charts haven't haven't been. Uh, too plentiful as far as a daily chart that we love, you know, uh, because the market seems to gap up or down every day lately. So anyway, that's what we're doing in lieu of that. And, and there still may be a, uh, a free pick sent out in your email one of these days if I find a chart I really like. So anyway, most of what we're doing is on an intraday basis like i just shown you in this video. I'm going to stop babbling and we'll send out another video tomorrow night. Have a good night.